plate tectonics, we finally get to the actual theory of plate tectonics. The theory of plate tectonics states that the lithospheric plates of the Earth are always moving. This results in geologic events like earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain building. These plates have moved in the past and are currently moving and will continue to move in the future. The reason or driving force behind the plate tectonics and part of the theory is that there are convection cells in the mantle helping to drive it along. Boundary types. Boundaries are where two or more tectonic plates meet. Scientists have classified the plate boundaries into three basic types. Plates are either colliding together, separating, or sliding past each other in different directions. There are different combinations, but these are the three main ones. When plates are colliding together or coming together, those are called convergent boundaries. When plates are separating, those are called divergent boundaries. Transform, so these would be the sliding past type of plate motions. In this animation, you can see convergent boundaries or colliding plates. And you can put your mouse over each one of the labels to tell you a little bit more about that action that's going on at that boundary. Here's a convergent boundary where two land masses, two continental crusts are colliding. And we have the formation of a mountain or mountain ranges. This animation shows a rift valley forming where two continental plates are splitting apart. Divergent boundaries are where seafloor spreading takes place. Here you can see an animation of transform boundaries where the plates are grinding past each other. A lot of earthquakes are generated around transform boundaries. So Wegner had a similar idea to plate tectonics, but he could not explain the, the reason or cause for the plate movement. That was one of his big hangups. Convection currents in the mantle, we now think, are what are causing the, plant, the plates to move apart. Recall that convection currents are caused by uneven heating of a gas or liquid. This causes the heated part to rise and the cooler parts to sink. We also think that gravity is pulling on the older, more dense ocean floor with more force than the newer, lighter seafloor. So now we're going to talk about some of the results of plate tectonics. We'll start with earthquakes. Earthquakes form when the plate boundaries move against each other or past each other. Pressure can build up and then cause a sudden shift, usually along those plate boundaries. The plate shift sends out huge energy waves what we call seismic waves, through the rock. These energy waves reach the surface and can do so with devastating consequences. The point underground where the energy wave was created is known as the focus. The point above the ground is called the epicenter. Volcanoes and hotspots. Volcanoes form when magma makes its way through the crust, usually along plate boundaries. Plates collide with the lighter continental plate being pushed up and the denser oceanic plate sliding under. Crust that slides under is melted and forms magma. This creates a subduction zone. Magma can then be forced up to form volcanic mountains. Volcanoes can also form when plates separate, with magma slowly rising up to fill the cracks in the part of the ocean or on land, what we call rifts. Hot spots are kind of like a special volcano. Hot spots are a place where a plate moves over a super hot spot in the mantle. They got real creative with the name there. And the magma can just burn its way through the crust. So you can see in this animation, the hot spot here, and as it's burning its way through the crust, the crust is sliding over that hot spot, kind of like a conveyor belt, and forming those mountain chains. Or island chains. Mountain building. Mountains form when two light continental plates collide causing the land to buckle or be pushed up. This results in folding in or breaking of the crust. We can tell old mountains from young mountains and that the old mountains are going to be more rounded from the erosion and weathering and the younger mountains are going to be more jagged because the rain, water, wind, and ice has not broken them down yet. 